everyone, I'm Celeste with Cal TV Entertainment, and today we're here at BAM. Ba. See what I did there? Anyway, so today we have an exclusive look at some of the exhibitions that are about to be leaving soon, so y'all should definitely check them out before the month is over. We also have an exclusive interview with Julia White, who is the Senior Curator of Asian Arts here at the museum. So can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration for what made you want to create this exhibit? Right. Um, well, the inspiration really came uh, because of the artists that we're focusing on is Sikaki Hakusen, and we happen to own here at the Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archives some very important works by that artist, including the pair of screens that's behind us, which were purchased for the Art Museum in uh, 20, 2012 by Professor James K. Hill. He purchased them from Japan and had them shipped here. And so with these as the sort of the cornerstone of the exhibition, we then looked at the rest of the collection. And we have a number of other works by Sikaki Hakusen in the art collection, as well as some of the other later artists who were inspired by Hakusen's work. So this collection at the Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archive has um, a number of Japanese and Chinese paintings. And what I wanted to do was to show the influence of Chinese painting on Japanese painting of the 18th century. A school developed during that time called the Nanga School. And uh, the gentleman, Hakusen, uh, was one of the first people to really explore this new technique and, and mm -hmm. adopted Chinese paintings into the Japanese context. And so we have a number of works by him and then the people that followed in his footsteps. People that became actually much more famous and well known within the Japanese art circles. But uh, Hakusen still uh, provided us with this foundational um, you know, block to really build on this exhibition. 